Okay, so uh, yeah. when we look at the phases along the y-axis, uh, somebody mentioned uh, something related to randomness. Okay, Lane, <laughs> that was good. Okay, uh, and what what we can say is that there's so many of these that the phases are essentially random. The phases of these things, uh, or, or the, the the phase difference between one of these things and another at some distance is pretty random. Okay, I don't want to work into the whole idea of randomness and probabilities and uniform distributions and stuff like that. Be beyond what we need to talk about, but intuitively uh, you, you, you essentially have as many of these in relative phase to this point between 0 and 180 degrees as you have between 180 and 360 and they're still, rel uh, still uniformly random from 0 to 180 and from 180 to 360. So for any phase you have between 0 and 180, you're going to find a phase very much in, in almost exactly opposite it between 180 and 360. And when you do the sine or the cosine of that relative phase, you're going to get 0 if you add the sines and cosines. And I'm being a little vague about that. I don't want to write out the expressions. But that's a really good way to look at it. Okay? Now, um, another way to look at it is simply that um, remember that lambda is a whole lot less than A, right? Okay? So, within a distance lambda along here, tiny lambda, you have all the phases from 0 to 360, right? Well, then you just match that up with any other lambda on the other side, on this side, wherever you like, okay? And you'll have pretty much the identical phases or phases that are very close to it, okay? And that's almost the same as talking about randomness. Um, I want to draw a picture and I want to get the right color and I just haven't been able to determine what the exact right color is. It's like, okay, here is a wavelength here, somewhere within here, right? And there's another wavelength within here. And these, if these things are equally distributed, then you have just as many source points within this wavelength as you have within this wavelength distance, okay? Which means that any point here can be matched by a point down here that's 180 degrees out of phase with it. That means you go to the midpoint of this, and then whatever the distance is between here and here, you go that distance below the midpoint, and this thing will be 180 degrees out of phase with this one. If you don't have one that's exactly a source that's exactly at this position, you're going to have one that's as close as you might like it to be. Okay? Especially if you allow lambda to approach zero in the limit, you're going to see that whatever's at some small interval here will be matched by uh, whatever's in a small interval down in, in this wavelength distance that's half a wavelength further from the beginning, okay? And I, I could make that more specific, but that's the idea. And you'll see a very similar argument in your book when you see this, okay? Now the question is, what happens along this line at angle alpha? Um, 